Welcome back. Now it is time for the discussion segment or the interview segment, as you all know it's be. And we know today is Tuesday. We'll talk about business, um, economy, and everything that has to do with the financial or economic situation of the country um, here in Nigeria. Um, there's a particular um, story that is trending right now. And it says, um, I'll be reading it here. It says, the Naira has maintained its downward trend as scarcity of the dollar bites harder. And this has been financed by the media. Um, at the parallel market, Naira commenced trading at 1,175 Naira per dollar and closed at 100 and 1,000 rather, 190 Naira per dollar um, as of um, last week, Friday. And two weeks earlier, the Naira traded at 1,100 Naira per dollar at the parallel market. Market. It, however, appreciated slightly on the investor and exporter forex window after it sold at 808.28 naira per dollar at the close of trading um, as of last week, um, Friday. Um, basically, we see that there's been an, um, a downward trend of the naira. We've, we've seen how much the, the naira has, is being traded on the foreign exchange market. We see how it is increasing, you know, daily. Um, as of last week, it was 1,100 naira per dollar, and now this week we're talking about 1,000. 109 um, naira per dollar and we do not know how much it's going to increase you know before the week um, runs out so today we'll be talking about um you know foreign exchange rate and the impact on on businesses in nigeria we have so many small medium scale businesses here in nigeria and we can see that you know with the current rising um foreign exchange rates um there's there's going to be a negative impact yes on the um on smes in nigeria so we have someone who will be doing justice to the discussion with us we will be doing it alone we have um, yeah, Mr. Utibe Emmanuel, who is an entrepreneur and who has, you know, a perfect understanding of this as a serial entrepreneur and will be joining us via um, a call, an audio call to um, have this discussion with us. Thank you. Welcome, sir, to the show. Thank you so much. Good morning and welcome, sir. Good morning. Thank you. Yes, sir. So how are you doing today? And I'm how and well. how is Nigerian economy treating you and your business, your businesses? <laughs> well, we are trying to manage the situation. It's not been easy. Mm. Okay, okay. Let, let, let's come from a personal point of view before we even move into, you know, the real economic um, talk and, uh, you know, basically the situation of things um, um, presently. So for your businesses, I know that you have a um, series of businesses and we know how much, you know, the impact of um, the, the impact of the current foreign exchange rate is dealing with, you know, businesses here in Nigeria. So how has it been for you? How have you been able to cope? Do you have to do with, you know, price increase? How have you been telling your customers that, oh, there will be a you know, change in price? There will be a slight change in price. How are, how are your customers taking it? How are you taking it personally as a business owner? And how are you making sure you know you really balance your books to make sure you're making a profit at the end of the day? Uh, well, first, I, I think I would love to talk about uh, foreign exchange rate actually, mm. so that our listeners out there can really understand mm. what we are discussing today. If that's okay by you, no problem, it's very fine. Yeah, the foreign exchange rate we're talking about is actually the price at which a currency can be exchanged for another. Yes. Okay. Uh, for example, we have exchange rate between the Naira, mm -hmm. as using our local currency, yes. and the US dollar. Yeah. The foreign exchange rate, you know, currently are constantly changing. And they are influenced by a variety of factors, which could include uh, economic and political development, mm -hmm. and sometimes inflation and global supply. Yes. And now, this exchange rate currently are affecting a whole lot of businesses. Mine is not an exception. Mm. Uh, but in a nutshell, we've been trying as much as we can to reach the gap by employing some tools okay. to lock in a specific exchange rate for future transactions. Mm. Uh, what types of uh, businesses are mostly affected by fluctuations in uh, foreign exchange rates? But the businesses that are mostly affected by the fluctuation of these exchange rates uh, those businesses that definitely rely more on imports of raw materials. Okay. 
years because the, the fluctuation of these uh, exchange rates is affecting the cost of import. And of course, those businesses that rely solely on the importation of raw materials are being affected most by these fluctuations. Okay, can you describe uh, some challenges and uh, physical opportunities? Uh, sorry, and opportunities that uh, businesses faces when dealing with foreign exchange in Nigeria. Okay, yeah, businesses dealing with foreign uh, exchange in Nigeria face uh, various challenges okay. as well as opportunities. All right. Okay. Now, some of these challenges would be exchange rate volatility. For example, in Nigeria, we have been experiencing significant exchange rate fluctuations, okay. making it challenging for businesses to plan and budget effectively. Okay. 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 Another so challenge is the foreign exchange control. All right. uh, the government has implemented strict control on access to foreign exchange, making it difficult for a whole lot of businesses to obtain the currency they need for import. Mm. Okay. okay, another of such challenges mm. could be inflation. You know, high inflation rates can erode the value of currency, of foreign currency assets, affecting profit and financial stability. Now, political instability is also another challenge in this area. Political uncertainty can affect the exchange rate and create an unpredictable business environment for a whole lot of businesses. Now, amidst all these challenges, there are some opportunities as well. Mm. Some of these opportunities are export opportunities, changing okay. instruments, diversification, fintech solutions, investment inflows. Now, let me draw a bit on export opportunities. Mm. It has a weak kind of currency that make Nigerian goods and services more competitive in the international market, potentially boosting export. Mm. And diversification which is also another opportunity in this area. The diversifying revenue resources in multiple currencies and mitigate risk associated with a single currency. Mm. Okay. The rise of fintech platforms too in Nigeria has made it easier for this next to assess foreign exchange and manage their transactions. Now, in, a, in an overall sense, businesses in Nigeria must navigate a complex foreign exchange landscape, but by managing risk and leveraging opportunities, they can actually operate successfully in this environment. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for that. Uh, um, still on how well, you know, businesses can, you know, come out of the current rut that um, they are in, given the fact that, you know, um, the exchange rate is very high. What other things do you think that um, can help businesses to navigate this difficult period? You know, presently you talked about, you know, exports, you know, having to export um, locally made goods out of the country. And then we see that currently in Nigeria, um, Exporting is not something that we are very good at, you know, in, in Nigeria. We do not, we have more imports than we have um, for exports. We barely export goods. So how well do you think this can work in a country where exports, exporting items, exporting goods is not very um, prevalent? So how well do you think this can work? How well do you think businesses who, who produce goods locally or who have to, you know, who have to wait for, who have to import raw materials before they can get their goods manufactured, before they can create something um, for themselves or for their business? Businesses. How well do you think they can manage, um, you know, manage this phase, given the fact that they have to first of all import raw materials and then um, create or manufacture their goods before they even send it out again or, um, you know, export it out to other international countries? So, what do you think can be done in this regard? Oh, okay. Even from your question, I think this has to do with uh, the strategies businesses can actually explore yes. to mitigate the impact of foreign exchange fluctuations. Exactly. Now I'm going to leave a few, a few common ones, few common strategies. Uh, in the foreign exchange market they put before forward contracts. 
Mm. Okay. okay. And this contract allows businesses to lock in and exchange rates for a future date, providing certainty for budgeting and reducing exposure to adverse rate movement. Mm. Okay. Now we also have what we call the currency aging. In currency aging, uh, the financial instrument employs like features or options to offset the risk of currency rate changes can actually be used to. This is particularly important for businesses with significant foreign exchange exchange mm. Okay? That is a businesses can match their foreign exchange currency revenues and expenses, reducing the need for external agents. For example, a company with both export and import operations in the same currency can naturally age. Mm. Now, another way of mitigating this impact is use of local currency. Okay. Now, we need to encourage customers and suppliers to transact in the local currency. This way, they can actually reduce exposure to foreign exchange risk. Mm. Okay, you know, uh, you know, still on that, you know, I was about to ask that, um, do you think that businesses should start charging in dollars to help, you know, with the impact of, um, you know, uh, the, the, the exchange rate currently um, or in, in Nigeria? Do you think um, charging in dollars for your goods or for your services can help, you know, really um, cushion the effect that, you know, having to exchange, having to change your, maybe your Naira to dollars would, you know, the effect that the, the amount you would get would be much better when you have it in dollars than even in Naira. So, you know, before you talked about um, having businesses charging in their local currency or they should just you know start charging in their lo local currency more do you think that there's there isn't a bit of um a, a bit of disparity between you know both um statements because i think that um for me i think that charging in dollars would help but then coming from your own expert or experience point of view you're saying you know charging in local currency or even you know ex doing more businesses in local currency can actually help so how best can you you know explain both sides well, that depends on what the business is actually trading on, and of course, the client involved. You know, uh, if you are importing, for example, maybe some uh, finished goods, and then uh, the final consumer, it depends on the final consumer of such goods, you can actually charge in dollars for goods that maybe are. Uh, perishable, okay? Mm. Or maybe, for example, goods like fuel. Mm. So even though Nigeria is an oil producing country, mm. but we still import the final product. That's the fuel, okay? Yeah. And if you want to charge in dollars, how do you want the citizens who are using this fuel, who are the major consumer of this fuel, to pay for it? Mm. So we have to pay for it using our local no currency. Mm. Okay, um, as an experienced uh, entrepreneur, can you share any example of uh, Nigerian businesses that have successfully na navigated foreign exchange challenges and how they did so? The businesses that have successfully navigated this? Yes. Like, yeah, yes, sir. Okay, we uh, we actually have a good number of businesses that have successfully navigated through the challenges of this uh, foreign exchange rate. We have businesses like the Dangote Group. All right. Okay. Yeah. We have businesses like the Guinness Nigeria PLC. All right. Even next to Nigeria, InterSwitch. So these are businesses that are successfully manage foreign exchange challenges no. through a combination of different strategies. Okay, sir. So, um, you know, including diversification, local sourcing, aging, mm. and some strategic investment. Mm. Okay, sir. So. And of course, their adaptability and resilience have allowed them to continue operating effectively in the often unpredictable foreign exchange landscape. 
Nigeria. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Um, you know, on, on some of the, the businesses that you've mentioned, we realize that, you know, these businesses are much established and, you know, very big brands that have, you know, sort of all, gone through all of the challenges and they found their footing. But then for small scale businesses, for growing businesses, for startups, do you think that um, with the way or the rate at which the, um, the, the Naira to the dollar is growing, do you think um, they, they, they stand a chance of survival? You know, looking at it in the next, by next year, by the end of next year, do you think they really stand a survival if nothing is done to really um, reduce or mitigate the rate at which uh, the Naira to dollar um, rate is growing? Okay, uh, for that for small businesses, right? Yes, for small businesses. Uh, okay, uh, small and medium-sized enterprises, of course, often face uh, unique challenges when managing foreign exchange rate risk. Okay, a yeah. good number of them. But then, I think the small and medium enterprises can actually mm. survive these challenges in the coming days. Mm. by employing a, a few strategies. Some of these strategies to be include, but not limited to risk assessment. Right. Like they need to understand their exposure to foreign exchange risk by identifying the aspects of their business that have been affected by this fluctuation. Mm. Now, they also need to develop risk management strategies. Okay, by setting a clear and simple risk management strategy that aligns with their business objectives and risk tolerance. Now, I also advise small and medium enterprises to use local suppliers. Mm. Because whenever it is possible, they should source materials and components locally mm. to reduce their exposure to foreign exchange fluctuations. Mm. And they should also invest in training and education of their team to better understand currency market and risk management. It is also advisable for some of these small businesses and medium enterprises to partner with banks and expertise or collaboration with banks can actually offer them foreign exchange services and consider consultation with experts in risk management. Mm. Then, like I noted earlier, diversification is also key. Yes. So diversifying income streams, exploring opportunities to diversify their income, income sources and customer base can also reduce reliance on a single currency. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, I, I'm sure that uh, we would love to continue the conversation, but we're actually running out of time. Um, thank you so much once again for your time. We really do appreciate uh, myself and Chizzy are definitely saying thank you thank once you so again. Much thank for you. Us on this show. Yes, thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. Too. Uh, just to before we call it today, I, okay. I would love to note this the fluctuating foreign exchange rate can actually have both positive and negative impact mm. okay. Okay, on businesses and of course the general thing of citizens in Nigeria. Now, for example, if we have our uh, people or Nigerians working abroad and of course sending money back home, mm. whenever we have a weaker Ni uh, Ni Nigerian Naira, Mm. Because you know these remittances when sent home will have higher value. Uh, exactly. Yes. And if in turn it will improve the financial well being of recipient families. Mm. Okay. And in the other hand, the negative impact is that when a weaker naira so when we have a weaker naira, it can lead to higher import costs, which in turn can contribute to inflation. And of course, inflation, we know, erodes the purchasing power of consumers. Exactly. Reducing their standard of living mm -hmm. by making goods and services more expensive. Exactly. Mm. 
Thank you. Thank you so much for that. We hope that, you know, um, at the end of the day, everything becomes much better. The, gov the government or, you know, people in power and, of course, the um, economic team of the country will do something in this regard to make sure that, you know, the Naira, our local currency, has a much more, um, you know, stronger and, you know, valuable, it should be a valuable currency at the end of the day so that we do not have, you know, we do not literally go down or go deep into inflation where people cannot afford to purchase, you know, know their daily meals or cannot afford to live you know live well um in when it comes to their daily living thank you again one thank you so much again mr emmanuel for your time all right thank you so much for having me thank you um we're going to short break to be back with daybreak africa just stay with us